Look who's back. China. 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 We have another Chinese company coming back again with a huge new AI advancement. And this one is just truly insane as it's the first ever general AI agent that bridges minds and actions. It doesn't just think, it delivers results. Allow me to introduce Manis. Manis excels at various tasks from data analysis to coding to even research and so many other real world tasks. It's practically the first AI agent that I personally saw capable of professionally completing a task thoroughly. Just take a look at it live in action, where it's getting a comprehensive stock analysis and investment insights for Tesla stock. It is using deep research and thinking thoroughly to provide a full report exploring the stock in multiple steps. With SWOT analysis, you have market positions showcasing Tesla's EV market share, and so many other things. And on top of that, it is working on each step thoroughly. And you can see that it's working on all the different tasks that I give it with this prompt, where you're trying to get a summary of the company overview, key metrics, performance data, as well as the investment recommendations. And it's been able to provide analysis for each step. But on top of that, it was able to create this Tesla stock analysis dashboard. You have the executive summary, the investment recommendations, where it's telling you you should hold or if it's based off of the value you should avoid it, buying it this is the financial uh, the valuation analysis and so many other things that it was able to provide and you can see that it used the deep research concept to easily and thoroughly give you a better analysis of it based off the general ai agents of manis on the gaia benchmark a benchmark for evaluating general ai assistance on solving real world problems Manis actually achieved a new state-of-the-art performance score across all three difficulty levels, which is achieving an 86.5% on level 1, which is above OpenAI's deep research score, which was a 74.3%, and that's just insane. The only unfortunate thing is that when you do click on get started, you're going to need to have an invitation code to access Manus, which is quite unfortunate because most of us can't really access it without this invitation code. Now, I know on their Discord, they are giving it out on a first come first serve basis where you can easily just pay attention to their announcements and then you can use their codes to access it. And I'm not saying this because I'm paid by them. I'm definitely not. I'm just... Uh, covering this because it's truly revolutionary but this is something that is behind an invitation code a wait list so you're going to need to sign up and wait to actually get access and another thing i'm pretty sure is that they're going to be making this a pay tool soon so just keep that in mind before we get started i just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the world of ai newsletter i'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis so this is where you can easily get up-to-date knowledge about what is happening in the ai space so definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free let's now take a look at a couple of other examples of manis live in action we're gonna go ahead and try out something like listing out all the yc companies we're gonna click on this but let's read over the prompt we are basically requesting manis to visit the official yc website compile all enterprise information under the w25 b2b tag into a clear well-structured table be sure to find all of it so you can see that it is working on listing out all the context of all the different companies under those two tags and it is collecting all the information for you so in essence this is an ai agent that is working on lead generation and you can see that it was able to compile all the context within this table where you have all the data of all of these different companies within the first few pages which is just insane what's cool is that you can actually try this out by submitting a request and if it's a good request it might be shown within their website and in this case i clicked on the best hiking trails in the swift alps and it is listing out all the different trails that might be best and it's going to compile a list of different sorts of hikes with different sorts of difficulty levels and we should be able to see this within a couple seconds and there we go we have all of the different hiking trails the best ones in the swiss alps and you can see it lists out the kilometers how high it is the elevation gain 
uh, the highlights. And it did this for like the top, I believe, 10 different trails. On their Twitter post, I saw a couple of interesting uh, video demos of what has been created. Like in this case, I don't know what type of grammar this is, but he said, wow, the, I would him to create a dynamic teaching website for quantum computing. And this is for me. What? This is what it was capable of building out a quantum computing learning hub where you have different gates, the circuit, and it teaches you how to work with this dashboard. Now, this example is pretty unique. It's asking it to integrate the symbolic reasoning capabilities of a large language model with robotic reinforcement learning. It's asking it to design an instruction-based grasping task that requires the model to generate a disturbance-resistant control strategy for objects with unseen geometric parameters. And he basically set these parameters within the prompt, achieving greater than 90% success rate with the different parameters set over here, and clearly define the final output specifications, including policy as well as stability proofs and failure mode analysis. And this was the report that was generated, the to-do list, as well as the comprehensive design document. So not only does it focus on one single document, it can output multiple different files. And you can see this with this case over here. There's multiple different documents that have been generated, the images that you can view, the code files if it was working with code, as well as links. This agent also works with different modalities from image all the way to audio to even video. You have a podcast editing prompt over here where it's asking it to please cut the podcast audio into a two minute highlight reel of key quotes, select the complete sentence with clear viewpoints or interesting content ensuring smooth transition. And this is the podcast, which is on DeepSeek R1. Talking about, you know, mimicking language. This is about LLMs, large language models, taking a giant leap. And that's basically the audio that was fed in. And afterwards, it was able to highlight the real transcript and it provided me the new content, as in the new audio for this. So let's take a listen to this Deep new audio. AI, they've got this new model, DeepSeek R1 and its predecessor, DeepSeq R10. So if you were to compare the two different audio files, you'll notice that this one is going to focus on the highlights, where it's condensed down and it focuses on the main transcripts of what it wants to see, where there's clear viewpoints, as well as the interesting contents from the original DeepSeq audio. And this is where this new agent could do almost anything from different modalities, even related to audio. It also is even working on audio engineering where it was able to help design a sound effect with birds chirping mixed with the sound of steam lasting around three seconds. So let's just take a listen to this. And you can hear the subtle sound of the birds as well as the steam. It's also capable of coding, which is really cool because it can full on build out different sorts of apps. This is a simple role playing app for the president of Ukraine. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this. This is a simple simulation of the Zelensky Trump Vance debate. We're going to begin this simulation. We're going to go and click on this. And then you can see that this is just a simulation of what is happening within that small little talk that those three had. And guys, this is why at the start of the video, I said that this is a great new AI agent that can practically do anything where it can carry out these different types of tasks from different categories quite professionally and thoroughly because if you are to compare the agents that we see with other different like large language models and frameworks it's not capable of outputting the same sort of results as manis is and this is why i truly believe that this is quite revolutionary and i'm excited to see what they end up launching once they do officially give access to everyone if you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's basically it for today's video on Manus. This is the first ever AI general agent that is gonna be available soon. So I definitely recommend that you try it out. It's quite remarkable and I love the innovation seen with this new framework. I'll leave all the links in the description below. Make sure you follow me on the newsletter so that you can stay up to date with weekly 
AI newsletter post. Follow me on the Patreon to join our Discord. Follow me on Twitter to join, as well as access different AI news. Uh, and lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous contents on this channel because there's a lot of stuff that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.